Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Psychonauts, and I am going to go back and talk to Agent Kreller after... Oh yeah, so last episode, uh, went inside the Longvish's mind and got rid of the mind control that was set there by Coach Oleander. Okay, what's the situation? And that's really all that happened, except that it was crashing, like, insanely. Kinda wanna change this again. Can I change... Like, say... What about a nice red? Okay. Hope that makes you feel pretty. Let's regroup. I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. Rasputin, come up here. There's something you should see. Fair enough. I'll be there in a second. Just want to turn some things in. Uh, yep. Not enough for another level, but that's okay. I should get enough to get to level 40. I think I bought, I bought like six cores and I definitely have enough for that. Let's see here. One, two, three. Four levels. Alright, Psy Blast upgraded. Chain Blast. Your Psy Blast will bounce from one enemy to the next, damaging up to three nearby enemies at once. Very cool. And then a mirror four more levels, and we'll gain another power. As to what it is, I'm not entirely sure. Oop. Alright. I just need three more cards. For all I know, there's like three more cards in this lab, but... Uh, actually, that's the, that's the type of thing you can check, isn't it? Oh no, there was only two si <laughs> there's only two cards here. Also, there was a new thing that just opened up the menu that you may or may not have noticed, but don't bother going back if you didn't see it. I'll explain it in a little bit. I don't know about this fuchsia ball. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's different. You're the only one left, son. Can't even make a connection with Sasha or Mia right now for some reason. Sasha said he had some official Psychonauts business. Impossible. I would know it if they did. No, something's happened to them. Rasputin, listen. You're the only one who can stop Oleander now. What about you? I... I can't leave this cave, Rasputin. Not as the Ford Crawler you know. What? Why? Years ago, I was in a terrible psychic duel that left me barely alive. Yeah, I read about that. They said your psyche was shattered, that you lost your mind. But you seem fine to me. Yes, when I'm down here, near the Citanium Motherload, the concentrated power of the Citanium pulls my thoughts together, keeps me like my old self. But if I leave this sanctuary, my psyche becomes disjointed, and I fall into one of my other personalities with no memory of who I really am. I'd be no use to you unless you needed something raked or, or mocked. Well, you can call headquarters and get help. The Psychonauts won't listen to me. They wrote me off as a loon years ago. That's why Sasha and Mia have to take on all my missions. Headquarters doesn't know I'm the one behind the assignments or they'd never get approved. But Sasha and Mia seem to be out of commission now. You have to be my field agent, Rasputin. Are you ready? Yes. Good. You have to find where that monster took the girl. And if you locate any of the other children's brains along the way, bring them back to me for recranialization. Understand? Ew. I mean, yes, sir. Cool. So yeah, that's why there was no children around the camp when I was checking. They're all here, and none of them have brains. And I think there's a way... Is there a way to get in there? Actually, it doesn't look like there is. <laughs> and they're all watching TV. TV? But yeah, the, like you can tell by the bulletin board, like they each kind of wandered off individually. Um, and I guess the lungfish got them either in the woods or in the... Uh, by the lake. Just individually, they got taken to the lab, and their brains were sneezed out of their noses. 
So, that's a bit depressing. <laughs> so the menu thing I was talking about is that jar that used to be empty. Those are brains. In certain areas, there are brains. Children's brains that have been scattered around. Uh, none of them are in camp or anything, though. They're all in the area that I was just at, which Did I'm going back to. What is the current situation? Uh, so here, let's see. Here there are three brains. I could rebrain three of the children immediately. And then they'll appear at the camp again, and I can talk to them, and they can go about their lives. The first time I beat this, I did not find all the brands. Hey, I was talking to you, jerks. Huh? Who are you working for? What? Uh... I'm with the Psychonauts. The who? Oh, that doesn't fit in. That doesn't fit in at all. Maybe I've got this all wrong. Oh, okay, okay, but... No, no, wait, I mean... The manager? That boy band? Hmm. There's a level. Fixing oil prices. Someone has to get this information to the people. Yeah! The freaky hunchback girl who loves brains so much. <laughs> who are merely the pawns of... Yeah! Those little green cops. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I can call the lungfish. Uh, with the back end of... Uh... Hold on, haters! Ah, the call of the pelican. The pelican? Who do you work for? I'm the guard. I've been fully trained. Who are merely the pawn? You gotta let me in. My friend's in there. Sorry, the milkman has the key. I am not the milkman. I'm the guard. In conjunction with... Where's the milkman? I'll bet he's sleeping on the job. His milk is delicious. Everybody wants it. He'll be here soon. Then the lies will end. Mm. With the backing mm. of... Uh, um... The goggles. No, no, find the, the milkman. Pop the analyticals, man. Science so the milkman with the has the, the key, supposedly. All night. Uh, I think I might have to ask him questions in a different way. Sparring with me. I wonder if this is immoral. Mm. Oh well. Yeah. Not another tracking device. In a way. Perfect, isn't it? Yes. Almost complete. Just a few missing pieces. Yes, now which piece talks about the milkman? The one who opens the asylum gate? But it's all about the milkman. Can't you see? Is this like one of those 3D paintings? I can never do those. No, you just gotta learn to see it like I see it. There's something in the fridge. That might help you see the world, like I do. Ooh, sorry. Uh, I don't drink. Before noon, I mean. Well, no harm in checking. Unless there is harm in checking. Well, there's figments all over the kitchen. Pretty normal-looking mind altogether, isn't it? Compared to the other minds. Are working for the squirrels. Uh, ha! Like I... The ice cream's in the web. Clairvoyance, the specialty of Nils, is now under my control. It has very specific uses, mainly for puzzles. Alright, Clairvoyance lets you see through the eyes of another. Try it on another person or on handheld objects that bear. A special icon. So that's like security camera stuff like that. Pass it over the counter, but that don't make it over the counter. The milkman's dead? Ah, oh, crud. Burned up in a department store fire. Didn't you hear? At least that's what the media would have you believe. Is he dead or not? Go to the grave.
graveyard. Dig him up. Oh, you'll find something all right. But it's neither man nor milk. Okay. The okay. National Park System, who are the puppet masters of... So this is how he sees me. He, I guess he doesn't know what I am. But he also, all around the, uh, the room, these things, he sees connections that I don't see also. So everyone in the game you can actually uh, use clairvoyance on, and you can see how they see you. Eh. Mom, are you sure these are your children? Someone has to get this information to the people. I think it's about time I leave, though. How many are there? Be careful. They're watching all the time. Hey. Now, how am I gonna find some creepy graveyard in this? Nice, normal neighborhood. <laughs> so now it's looking a bit insane. Before, just inside that house, it looked like it might be normal. I don't know. Go to the backyard. Oh, mental aggression. That's good. I need some mental aggression. It was all drained out of me. Yeah, there's so many, there, there's, like, it's hard to find everything here. <laughs> a lot of the houses can be entered. Uh, there's figments in the houses, some of them. And you have to remember which ones you actually entered. It's, it's, a, it's a big mess. Here in... There's eyes. There's eyes in all of the trash cats. He seems to be someone who, again, he feels like everyone's watching him, so in his mind, like, everything literally is watching him. The garbage cans, mailboxes, this flamingo <laughs> just took a picture of me. Ugh. I can't go in there. Can I go in here? Yeah, okay, you can go in most- Most of the houses are identical, though, it's just there's figments in them, so... And here's the- alright, so... Oh, the camera. Um, Alucard actually, because I, I mentioned how like I had a horrible compulsion to um, to show everything, and I've already not shown everything. Like I've I've collected certain things and not shown it, just like cards around the uh, the camp, and I guess with all that crashing stuff last episode, there's definitely like a tag or two that I got and some few figments. Oh my god, the camera! But he actually made some pretty good points as to why it might be valuable to to show such things. Um, and you know he he wrote a lot, so it was it was uh oh I got a stop sign. I don't know he made some convincing arguments. It was glad. Actually, one of the biggest things that it made me feel better about my my collecting compulsion is that he says he's because bully was terrible. Uh, I didn't I actually didn't get everything in bully. Uh, I didn't get 100. percent I did collect all the items though, and apparently he's watched other LPs over the years, and no one else got the uh, end game rewards and the ones that he saw. So that's I think that's cool. <laughs> I think that's cool that I'm showing something that at least the large majority of people don't bother getting. But the figments, man. Oh god, the figments. Just all of them. Every single one of them. It's really hard. Stop. Road crew workers only be on the yellow line. You guys are road crew workers? Yes. We work on the road with these red signs. I see. Well, do you guys know where the milkman is? Why do you ask that question? Are you the milkman? Do I look like a milkman to you? That information is restricted to the road crew. Please move along. That's not suspicious at all. My red sign helps me work on the road. Well, this part right here, by the way, like I mentioned eventually I work um, that the cobweb duster is necessary. It is on this level. You cannot beat this level without the cobweb duster. And I think, I, I believe I have to go into this house. Got it. And you can't go into the house with that cobweb blocking the way. So if I'm right, there'll be a useful item in here. There was not a useful item in there. <laughs> there is a, you know, you, you can get a bunch of arrowheads from the, the, uh, the refrigerator, so I guess that's kind of cool. Well, one of these houses is blocked off by a cobweb. And you need to clear the cobweb. Now, the G-Men, as I believe they're called, uh, take up many different identities in the stage, and in order to get past them, you need to use an object, like the sign. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. Hello, fellow road crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. 
There, so now they won't, uh, if I go be behind this line without this, they will surround me and arrest me. Slow to 15 miles per hour. Stop. Oh. And clairvoyance. My red sign helps me work on the road. He sees me as road crew because I have the sign. Thank goodness it is Friday. It is very hot here, working on the road. They say some pretty great things also, the Jimon. But I got no through. Ah! Son of a... I think I actually lost a life for that. <laughs> that was dumb. Let's try not to do that again. No, oh, it was already here. They sent me back. They sent me back. All right, yeah, I have to go through all that again. I am on the road crew. This Hello, is my fellow stop road sign. crew worker. Welcome to the road crew. There we are. <laughs> Let's try not to have that dumb thing happen again. That. I mean, you can get this far without the uh, the cowboy duster, obviously. Here, because you can get the sign of that open car that I got. Oh God, the windows also have eyes. <laughs> the windows also have eyes. Mental aggression and arrowheads. Figment, figment, figment. Figment, figment, figment. Fig, fig, figgity fig, figment, figment. Alright, almost missed one. No, but I, this is why I'm mentioning this. The more I think about it, the more I'm thinking about getting all the figments. Not showing me get all the figments. It should be way less annoying if I don't have to show it. Because then I could watch television or something. Operator. But, uh. This is my job. Stop. This is a restricted area. The hedge area is only for those who trim hedges. Oh. Well, I don't trim hedges, so... Can you hear me? I'm gonna need a hedge trimmer, I guess. I have a special phone. And just walk across there. This level design is actually pretty, pretty cool. This is one of the coolest levels. I mean, I have bad memories of it partially because I, I was forced to get the cobweb duster. And that made me angry. <laughs> and I did all that I could without the cobweb duster, and then I had to come back, but... Without that issue... Pretty cool level, just a r weird, twisty suburb. And every single house is the same, though, which is kind of lame, but... I mean, I think there's like two models of houses. There's a smaller one, and there's a bigger, bigger one. And that was the bigger one. Let's get this. Yeah. 44. Oh, one more level and I'll get the, uh, oh no, <laughs> upgraded ability. <laughs> My perspective is shifted. Refrigerator! Give me your secrets, refrigerator. Is that a baseball mitt? Here, satellite dish. Probably a nefarious satellite dish. Steamer trunk tag. A lot of the things that are lighting up are because I can target them. You can actually throw them off cliffs with uh, telekinesis. Not that it's really necessary to do so. And by that I mean it doesn't get you anything. But I deserve your respect. You can do it. Hello, sir. I am a rainbow squirt. Would you like to buy a box of my delicious rainbow treats? I would buy some cookies, but I don't have any milk. Do you have any idea where I could buy some milk? For my cookies? Ah! Creepy man! Oh dear. Um. We work in the sewer. Yeah, he, uh. <laughs> she sees me as a creepy man. I am on the road crew. This is my stop sign. That's nice. Creep. Boo. Excuse me, but I'm looking for the milkman. Stop talking to me! You're going to get me in trouble! Ow! I'm only trying to make money for our organization, sir! <laughs> One of the things that he creepily, like the, uh... I think his name is Boyd, I don't know if they ever mentioned that. But, um, the guy who's mine, Diamond, he mentions that the Girl Scouts are part of a, uh, a secret organization to take over the world or something like that. So, you know... 
He's got a few conspiracies. Management technician. The Girl Scouts probably are trying to take. I don't know. Look, those cookies taste way too good, and they're sold by little girls, and it's just harder to say no to them because some of them just look really disappointed. And then, ugh. And I don't want like, ugh. I don't want to eat all the cookies. And it's freaking. <laughs> Gotta lose weight, net gain weight. Not that I'm incredibly overweight, I just have some weird back issues, and I think if I lost like 20 pounds, they would get better. I'm only trying to make money for our organization, sir. Okay, that time I didn't mean to kick you in the face. Your face should have just been not close to my foot. So I'm blaming you for that one. Hurt. What is this? Stop. This is a restricted area. Only phone company employees may approach the pole. Oh, I'm back to Hedgeland. All right, I wasn't supposed to jump back here. It is a little, uh, a little bit confusing here, just with the topsy turviness and my already bad direction sense. What about this? Stop. This is a restricted area. Sewer workers only. Sewer workers. I haven't been in here because the refrigerator's closed. You can close the refrigerator again by hitting it, but I am not going to do that so that I know which houses I've been in immediately. I didn't see any figments in there, though. Uh, I think I can... Yeah, I can just go around it. I need... Stop. Stop. This is a restricted area. Okay, now this must... This is probably the... No, alright, that's just a... That's just a bag. Got it! This hat box needs a hat box tag. I will look for the hat box tag. I'm on the road crew. This is my road sign. Welcome to the road crew. Ah, uh, so simple. How employment is. <laughs> if I could just pick up a stop sign and then have a job. Well, I have a feeling they wouldn't pay me. I think it's all, this is all a cover-up for the Girl Scouts. Oop. Nothing cool. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This level does go a lot faster if you don't check all the houses. Stop. This is a restricted area. Okay. For what type of people? Find a disguise for the graveyard. I do need to get in there eventually. I should find something once I get to the end of the, uh... The city. Because the stop. This is a restricted area. Alright, well, fine. <laughs> Doesn't look all that restricted. You're just watering things. Okay. Oh, I, I leveled up. Uh, psychic power upgrade earned. Thermal detonation. Your psychokinesis power will now invoke a massive explosion around the target, setting anything on fire nearby. So this is a multi-targeting fire attack. Not that I've really used fire at all during this let's play, but... Um... I don't have the... Fa I think... Oh, this crow sees me as I truly am. Oh, he dropped a feather. So some clairvoyance can be used on objects. Now I mentioned that the uh, feathers had one other. Seen any suspicious characters around here lately? Who did I just ask that? Um, I mentioned the feather has one other um, use. If you're holding it, you can use clairvoyance and see through crows. So and you can you can do that on the outside too. You may have noticed there were crows uh, outside of Boyd, who's mine, Diamond. Hmm. There's something like I think when that crow is watching, the door is closed. I think that's what I think that's what this this whole thing is about. So I need to make sure the crow can't see me or something. Yeah, like if I go back here. No, the door's still closed. Oh well, I don't I don't quite know Oh wait, there's a camera right there. Okay. Yeah, you see see on the left side there's a little camera popping up. Aha! Okay, now the door opened. So as long as oh crap, did it see me?
Rawr. <laughs> I, I, I'm a little bit confused as to how all that just worked just now. I am a grieving widow. <laughs> I am a grieving widow. So now I should be able to go into the graveyard. But instead, I'm going to keep on searching down the path to get to the end of it. Yeah. This is a pretty long stage. I might not be able to do it all at once, but we'll see. No, that's the graveyard. I'll go to that in a second. I just want to get to the end of things first. Try to search all the houses systematically. Hoot. And the top of the houses. And the back of the houses. And the flamingos of the houses. <laughs> the magical spinning flamingos. No use talking to her. She says the same thing as all the other ones. Here. Very nice. It's, uh They give you all those little figment treasure chests, and it's like... The one stage that requires you to get a bunch of... Actually, that does make sense, yeah. Probably helped. Helped get the cobweb duster. Ugh. Stupid cobweb duster. Stupid needing to mine for... Money. If they had taken that entire... Like, if they had taken arrowheads out of the game entirely... I don't think the game... I think the game would have been better just not making you search for them like that. Or just provide them in a way that was far less annoying than the the uh, searching for them on the ground. Alright, so this is a house that you can't get into without the cobweb duster. This has to be the place where you get an important thing. No, I'm probably just... Oh, it's not any of the houses, I guess. It's just the... um. There, There's a place blocked off at the end of the... Of this road. That's why I'm going here in the first place. Alright. Whee! And get the figments. Getting the figments, I guess, is another good way to tell whether I've been in a house or not. As long as I get them all on the outside. Just want to make sure I don't miss any. Whoa! So, like, I haven't been in this house because I haven't gotten all the figments. Figment! Of my imagination! Satanium arrowheads are in my mind. Yeah. Alright, so boom boom. No tags for me guys? You don't got any tags that can haul away the mental baggage? No? Nothing? Out of the way, girl. Out of the way, girl. You are of no concern of mine. Like that. Oh, is that a mental vault? No, these are all mailboxes. <laughs> Mailboxes that kind of look like mental vaults, but are not mental vaults. Here. here. Don't want to fall off into the inky abyss. Oh, hello. I thought I saw something down there, but I think it was just a bush camera. <laughs> the dreaded bush cameras. Yep, <laughs> it was definitely a bush camera. <laughs> So the the, uh, the control pad sees me as a giant finger. That's all I am to him. But how do I get in there? That's the question. Ooh! I found a watering can! Cool. So now I should be able to go into the watering area. Excellent. And I went into all the houses. So I guess first I'll encounter the graveyard, I believe. Wait, what are you? That's the watering area. Oh, um, there. It is a good day is a for watering, watering can. Why, well, thank you. How much you paid for it? They like my watering can. Level fifty. Levitation can. upgrade. May I ask how much you paid for it? Oh, levitation upgrade at level fifty. Hello. I am making a pie. <laughs> I don't know where the pie gives me access to. Hmm. I do know that I better switch back to my can before I walk outside, though. Or they might get a bit pissed off. I'm watering. That is a fine watering can. May I ask how much you paid for it? I'm watering. Me too. Perhaps we can swap watering tips. Yeah, you just you just kind of tip it. Water is important. Water is important. You say such true things. Alright, I need the flower. I am a grieving widow. 
Oh no, grieving widow. I wish my loved one was not dead, but alive. Ah, uh, I see that you are grieving. I will give you your space. I am a grieving widow. I am your sister in grief. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Why, God? Why? Oh. You guys are grieving weirdly. Very weirdly. All right, I need to get into here. The vines are too thick. They won't break. Well, let's burn them. Yes, burn. Man, I hope no one notices all this fire. I'm alone now and grieving. Well, there's too much I grief for them to notice. Had remembered to indicate me as the beneficiary of his 401k plan. What? What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? That book you found was dynamite! Blows the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go. Because they think, we'll think, we know they know, we know. So we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. A sniper rifle. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Sit. Beware the cows! Not all milk is enriched! <laughs> well, I should probably, uh... The tuna canneries... I should probably <laughs> end it here. Of the, cows. the cows aren't all bad, man. I mean, some of them, I'm sure, are bad people. Some cows probably bad. How did I miss that figment? That is ridiculous. How did I miss that ordinary fire hydrant? But yeah, um... I should be able to complete the stage next time. Ooh, I am an assassin. Caution, men working. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. <laughs> you are a cold-blooded killer, but it takes all kinds to make a world. Oh, he's cool with me being an assassin. If too many items for one page, use the blurmer to see. All right, so there's so many items that uh. I am a grieving widow. Dangerous conditions ahead. I am a grieving widow. I am sorry for your loss. Alright, well, fair enough. Uh, so yeah, next time we're gonna be going... I, it says I need to go to the sewers, though, so I'm gonna need to find a plunger or something. That building that I went all the way to the end to, probably accessible now. That it certainly wasn't accessible previously. In fact, I believe... Oh, it's the neighborhood post office. Yep. I took the quick path. There we are. Excellent. So I need to find out a way in here. Hey, are you following me? I think I think there's a way to like find the car. Alright, whatever. All this will happen next episode. I'm Cross Knights, and I'll see you then.